In today's video, we'll be testing the DODEX version of Phoenix OS on this low-end PC without actually installing it. This means you won't need to create any partitions or use any additional software. All you'll need is a USB drive, and in just a few seconds, you'll be able to use it. Just make sure not to miss the last part of the video because I'll explain whether you should actually try this OS or not. So, let's start the video. Let's roll. First, you need to download this ISO file and Rufus software both of which you can find on my website. Next, simply insert your USB drive into the PC and launch Rufus. You'll need at least a 2GB pen drive to use this OS. After that, select MBR in the partition system, then click on the icon to browse. Now, select the ISO file and click the start button. Then your USB drive will start becoming bootable. So, the process is now complete, and I'll restart the PC and record the rest of the steps using a hand cam. As soon as your PC restarts, you need to press the boot key repeatedly to enter the boot menu. Once you're there, choose the USB option and your USB drive will boot up. Now, you'll see two options and you need to select the first one. I know many of you might be wondering why we can't install this OS on the hard drive. Let me explain, installing this OS directly on the hard drive is quite risky. It could damage your windows or the boot sector, which is why I don't recommend direct installation. It's better to live boot it, and trust me, live booting works even better compared to direct installation. Now we've reached the setup page, so let me quickly set it up. As you can see, Phoenix OS has been successfully installed, and it's incredibly fast compared to the original version, even though it's booting directly from the USB drive. Yet, it's running quite smoothly. First, let's talk about the Android version. You'll get Android 5 on this OS, which is fully compatible with any low-end PC. Additionally, this OS provides full support for the Play Store, and you'll also find some extra apps pre-installed. You can even download games directly from the browser if you prefer. The only issue with this OS when you live boot it is that as soon as you restart your PC, all your data will be lost. This is the biggest drawback of live booting this OS. However, if you install it directly on the hard drive, you won't face this problem. But since it's quite risky, I don't recommend installing it directly. Overall, in terms of performance, it's much better than the original Phoenix OS, except for this live boot issue. But if you want to play Free Fire without losing data, then the video on the left is perfect for you. Just click on it and I'll meet you there. 